Hey there, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Night Scenes TV. Um, a few days ago, somebody from Unique Lighting contacted me and they had seen the video that I made about wire size coming out of a transformer and making sure you have the right size wire size to the secondary protection of the transformer. And they asked me to review a brand new product of theirs. It is their 150 watt LED professional series transformer. Okay, so I got it yesterday and here we go. This is going to be the pros and cons of this particular transformer. So what we have here is the unique lighting systems 150SSSL LED stainless steel transformer. First thing it, that I like is it's got a six foot cord, okay? So this allows you to have a little bit more options, a, a few more options about your mounting, making sure that you're within about five feet or so of your outlet instead of right next to it, okay? So that's a cool option. The next really neat option or the neat thing I saw about this transformer is this clip right here which is spring loaded so to latch it it's super easy you just boom it's latched right open it up close it it's just that simple great it's even got a place here for a padlock right here so nobody can get into the transformer another thing I like is this removable door if you notice on this door here, this pin is longer than this pin, okay? On most removable doors that I've ever used, both pins are the same size. Well, in order to put the door on, you gotta line that up just perfect, right? Well, with this one, all you have to do is get that bottom one lined up, you bring the top one right in and boom, it's on. It's uh, super easy, okay? so. Another thing I like is inside here, it's got this place where you can put all of your wiring information, your run number, description of where it's going, your voltage, your amperage, and the voltage tap that you've got that particular run on. So this is good information, keeps it really nice and handy. Just use a, um, a, a uh, waterproof, you know, marker, you know, that's going to stick around. Um, they include some mounting hardware, and they also include an Allen wrench. And the reason for the Allen wrench is because if you can see inside this transformer, it has Allen lugs instead of regular flat tip screwdriver lugs, okay? So I guess a, a good benefit of that is that you might be able to get a little bit more torque on an Allen wrench than you can on a screwdriver. Um, not that you need to over torque these things, okay? Uh, but it uses Allen's instead of regular screws, all right? Um, another good thing in here is that it has this plug where you can plug in a photo cell, right? Or if you leave this plugged in, you can check your primary amp load on this transformer with a simple clip amp meter right uh, it's got the internal outlet right here and uh, for you to put in your timing device whatever that happens to be um, it's also got a 15 amp circuit breaker remember it's a 150 watt transformer not a 300 watt transformer and so it's it needs to have a 15 amp circuit breaker uh, what I had railed on in my previous video was the question that I had gotten, can I use a 16 gauge wire coming out of a transformer? And the answer was no. This one, you could actually use 14 gauge wire because it's got a 15 amp circuit breaker. 16 gauge wire is only rated for 10 amps maximum, right? So if you put 16 gauge wire in here, it would burn up before the circuit breaker will trip because it's a 15 amp circuit breaker, right? But you can use 14 gauge wire and that will work fine on this transformer. 14 gauge, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, you know, as long as it's bigger than 14 gauge, you're good with this transformer, okay? Just don't go below 14 gauge 
coming out of it. All right. Another couple of things I really like about it. It's got knockouts on this side. It's got knockouts on the bottom and it's got knockouts on this side. So you can put your photo cell pretty much anywhere. Of course, you have two places for your conduit to come in for your secondary runs. You can either use a big, uh, probably an inch and a quarter uh, KO here, or you can use their three quarter inch KO here if you only have a couple of wires coming in. Um, so those are, that's everything I really like about this transformer. Oh, also, it's got two hanger bolts on the top and the bottom one instead of being external is actually internal to the transformer right here so you can when you mount this transformer and you close and lock this door the transformer can't be removed unless they can get into the transformer that's kind of a cool thing all right um now let's look at what i'm not too happy about with this transformer First of all, let me see if I can come up there close. Notice that that outlet inside there is sideways. Okay, now this is fine for say a timer, maybe. The problem with that, because well, because the timer generally has an outlet on the side of it for you to be able to plug this into. And I see where they were going with this, right? Uh, but the problem is, is if you're using a home automation module those are generally on the bottom so you won't be able to plug in a module in here an automation module now maybe you can pop this outlet out and turn it and put it back in i didn't do it on this because i don't want to break it uh, just in case this plastic breaks on this outlet could happen so i don't want to do that um, but if you can pop this out turn it put it back in problems are solved right the other problem I have is the circuit breaker location okay because when you put in a timer in here and you go to plug this in you've got a circuit breaker in your way I noticed that they do have a KO up here where they could move this circuit breaker up here got that unique maybe you want to do that okay so if you put the circuit breaker up here, now you've got a clean, easy way to get to that outlet, timer, whatever that you've got in there, right? So that really, a couple of things. The last negative I have about it, and it's not really a negative really, it's that it only has a 10 year warranty. And for a stainless steel professional series transformer like this, I would, rather it at least outlive the leds that are going to be hooked up to it which are generally going to last 18 to 20 years right um, most units like this comparable to this have a lifetime full replacement warranty so i'm kind of going now oh, why did you just give a 10-year warranty on this thing it really should last forever so why not stand behind it forever right um, one other good thing about it you can remove this whole bottom plate here. Makes it super easy to get in there, run your wires through here, hook up your transformer if you take this out. But there's lots of hand room in here. This has got a huge cavity for you to be able to get in there and make up your connections, okay? So that's just one of the things that I noticed that is a good thing for it. All in all, I give this transformer a thumbs up. Uh, I think it would do a really good job for LED lighting systems um, because of your low uh, load on a LED system. So um, yeah, I think it's a good unit, you know, so why not, uh, why not use it? Um, hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up down below there. And uh, hey, subscribe to our channel. Oh, anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope it was uh, helpful to you and until next time we'll see you